So if you've been paying attention to the real estate market over the last few months, you have been noticing some significant changes. Active listings are up 48% nationally. 19.6% of homes have had a price reduction. And in a recent survey, it found that 64% of individuals felt that right now is not a good time to purchase. However, these stats don't necessarily tell the full story and what you might be seeing in the headlines may not reflect what is happening in your local market. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss what is happening today in the real estate market, especially the Sonoma County market. We're gonna explore what we can expect over the next year in 2023. And lastly, how you can use this information to decide if buying or selling is right for you over this coming year. If you are new to my channel, my name is Michael Furl. I'm the owner of the High Earth Homes Real Estate Team. We're one of the top real estate teams in the North Bay and specialize in the Sonoma County real estate market. My goal is to help provide you the best information possible so you can make a more informed decision on your next purchase or sale. And so if you find this information helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that way you can stay current on our latest video in real estate. So let's jump into it. You'd have to be living under a rock to not see or hear about some of the headlines in regards to what is happening in today's real estate market. Housing prices have soared over the last couple of years and interest rates have nearly doubled since the beginning of the year. As a result, housing affordability is at an all time low. If you've been actively watching your local market, you've probably been seeing this in the form of homes sitting around longer, price reductions starting to take place, and when you tour open houses, there are significantly less people taking a look at the home. However, this doesn't tell us the full story, and while there are more homes currently on market nationally, the number of new listings hitting the market is down nearly 17% year over year, as sellers are less motivated to give up their low interest rates that they secured over the last few years. Additionally, what is happening one market market may not necessarily reflect what is happening in your market. In Sonoma County, we also saw an increase in inventory levels as interest rates rose over the summer and inventory levels reached a high for the year of 750 homes in October. However, since then, inventory levels have dropped by 20% to only 590 total homes for sale in Sonoma County. And that's partly due to the seasonality as well as sellers being less motivated to sell given the climate of the current market. Additionally, while the days on market has increased significantly at the national level, and this is basically the time it takes for a home to go into contract, in Sonoma County, it has only increased by four days year over year. So out of all the numbers and data available to determine which direction prices are gonna be heading, one of the first ones to take a look at is the amount of total inventory in your local market. The number one reason that home values in Sonoma County are not crashing as some headlines will have you believe is because inventory levels are still at historic lows and there is still pent up demand for buyers looking to purchase. Another thing to take in consideration is that market reports are always lagging. So when you see a headline that reads, home prices fall and listings soar, this may not necessarily reflect what is happening in today's market because what a home sold for isn't reported until after it closes escrow, which can take approximately 30 to 45 days. In addition, it can take 30 to 60 days just to report this information. So this means by the time you see a headline, this information is based on data from 60 to 90 days ago, and in that time frame, there are a lot of changes that can happen in the marketplace. In Sonoma County, the average price for a single family home reached an all time high of $865,000 in April. As of October, however, home prices have dropped to $795,000 which is an average decrease of approximately 8%. So what can we take away from all this information? Yes, home prices have come down, but they're not crashing. And as we see inventory levels continue to decrease, this will prevent home prices from coming down that much further. So next, let's talk about what we can anticipate will happen in the real estate market moving into 2023. Well, at the macro level, there are many things that can impact the housing market. And on December 13th, there's gonna be a new inflation report that's gonna be released and it's gonna provide feedback as to whether or not what the Fed is doing is slowing the market down and slowing the rate of inflation. On December 14th, the Fed is gonna be meeting and deciding whether or not they're gonna increase rates and if so, how much. It's currently anticipated that we're likely to see a half percentage point rate increase in inflation as a reflection of inflation continuing to slow down. The Fed will then meet again in February of 2023, and lenders responded favorably to the last inflation report, and mortgage rates saw the fastest drop in interest rates that they had seen in 40 years. They moved from low sevens to currently they're in the low sixes, and buyers can even get into the mid fives right now on a jumbo-sized loan. And while there currently isn't any projections that interest rates are gonna drop back to the historic lows that we saw earlier this year, 
all current signs are pointing that inflation is going to continue to slow down in 2023. If this happens, the Fed is going to be significantly less aggressive in their rate hikes and mortgage rates are going to continue to stabilize. Based on this, there's a high probability that we're actually going to see interest rates drop below 5% by the end of 2023. And lower interest rates and stability and inflation will not only increase buyers' purchasing power, but it's also going to provide some confidence in the market moving forward. However, lower interest rates has a double-edged sword while it does increase the purchasing power for buyers in the marketplace, it also increases competition as more buyers are going to enter the market. And the more buyers that enter the market, the higher prices are likely to get with increased competition. Conversely, Realtor.com projects that home prices will actually increase by 5.4% nationally by the end of 2023. At the local level here in Sonoma County, many buyers are still feeling leery to jump back in the market despite the recent drop in interest rates. And this is largely due to feelings of uncertainty in the market. Many buyers still currently believe that an impending market crash will actually force a significant drop in values from where they are today. And much of this is rooted in blind optimism, but not necessarily based on any supporting evidence. A severe shortage in inventory will continue to slow the pace of home values decreasing in 2023. 2023. So assuming that rates will continue to stabilize and even potentially decrease over the next few months, the spring market is going to bring back more buyers and sellers in the marketplace, but not at the same levels that we had seen over the last couple of years. And overall, Sonoma County will likely experience a moderate level of competition in the market with around a two to 4% increase in home values. So ultimately lower rates really equal more buyers and more buyers equal higher home prices. So if you're thinking about buying or selling over the next 12 months, what should you do with all all of this information. Most real estate agents are going to tell you that it's always a good time to buy no matter what's happening in the marketplace. However, I don't believe that this is true. And many buyers are simply priced out of the market right now due to interest rates and don't even have the option of purchase because they currently do not qualify. So if this is you, try focusing on reducing your expenses, continue to build up your cash reserves and work on improving your credit score. So that way, once interest rates come down, you're going to have the opportunity to be able to buy a house. And to those that are unsure how long they might be staying in their next home for or know that they will have to make a change due to life circumstances over the next five years, it might make sense just to not purchase right now due to the volatility in the marketplace. Real estate should be looked at as a long-term investment and you should be planning on buying a property and holding it for at least 10 or more years to write out any potential fluctuations in the marketplace. However, if you can qualify today and find the right house, you are likely to get the best deal between December and February when they're significantly less competition. You want to purchase when everyone else isn't. And if you're waiting for home prices to drop significantly over the next year, the data doesn't suggest that this is likely going to happen. However, the downside of looking at homes over the next few months is that inventory is going to continue to slow down and pickings are going to be slim. And so if you can't find the right house over the next few months, the good news is that sellers will start to return to the market in the spring. However, with more inventory, it's also going to bring out more buyers in the market marketplace and conversely more competition. On the other side of the conversation, if you're thinking about selling next year, home values are not going to be what they were earlier this year. So if your neighbor sold their home for $800,000, you should not expect that you're going to be able to get the same price. March through June is going to be likely your best opportunity to get the highest price in the marketplace. But if you're looking to also buy at the same time, you're likely to also pay top of market prices as well during the same time. There's a small possibility that if inflation doesn't continue to slow down, the US is going to enter a deeper recession and unemployment is going to increase. And conversely, that's going to cause the housing market to continue to slow down and home prices will continue to drop. However, there currently isn't any evidence to support that this is likely to happen. If this does happen, however, it's important to ask yourself, what is the alternative? Because if you're paying $3,000 a month in rent, you're throwing away $36,000 every single year. That means on a $700,000 home, home values would need to drop over 5% just to recoup the amount that you had paid in rent. And that doesn't factor in any of the tax benefits. However, if you're paying significantly below market rent, it might make sense just to wait it out. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.